This is just a uh, GeoGebra file that can help you get a sense of what happens with a parametric equation. So um, just uh, I'll demonstrate. I mean, sometimes you have to click more than once for some reason to get it to move. It's showing you the current t value, um, and then you can watch the particle kind of move along the path. Uh, this one uh, goes in surprising places. So what happens is it moves from your t min to your t max, and uh, you can change those. Um, and now you'll, if I hit reset, it jumps down to the the T min, and then it will start. So I had to click that twice. I don't know why. Um, you can change the functions. So uh, there's no secant or cosecant or cotangent built in. So you have to do you know one over cosine to get secant uh, things like that. We can make this. Uh, you can see it's a function of t. So I can do uh, t squared. Press enter. Wow. I don't know what that is. Um, then I could do uh, one minus t squared. Let's say right here. Um, and I get that, uh, I can change this to, uh, five, and I'm going to change this to, uh, zero, so it's between there and there, and then click start, you can watch it move, um, it's, uh, you can zoom, which I just accidentally did by scrolling, I do that a lot, um, otherwise the, uh, move tool works, it's up there, um, zoom in, and zoom out so you can get uh, a better picture of what's going on. Um, and I, I just thought it'd be useful for you guys to be able to uh, kind of play around with this stuff. So I, I can do t and then uh, t squared. So I'm only looking from 0 to 5, so I only see this side of it. If I go from, uh, let's see, negative 5, 5, and then I'm going to move it a little so I get a better picture and reset so that it's. Um, Oh, I gotta go back to the selection tool. So you gotta be here if you're gonna click buttons. I knew that but forgot. And I can start it and just kind of watch the particle move. I can stop, reset, goes back. Um, so yeah, uh, I thought you might find this useful. So I hope you do.